and welcome to Tea Time. I'm Ginger Nelson here with my co-host Nettie Hatcher and today we have Danielle O'Day on the set with us and she is with the Tifton Tiff County Public Library. Welcome Danielle. Thanks for having me again. So I know that y'all have a lot going on at the library. We have a ton going on. I gave you guys your cheat sheets I know. already. <laughs> <so>. <laughs> I know when I, I went by the library the other, the other evening, I was amazed by how many cars were out there at the library. Yeah, Tuesday, Thursday nights were, or Tuesdays and Thursdays were open from 9 in the morning to 9 at night so that we give our patrons a little extra time after work to come by and use the computers or whatever. And we'll get 1,800 people, 1,900 people in on a slow day. Wow. Oh so there's goodness. a lot of people that come in, not only to check out books, but also to get on the computers that we have. You just have to have a library card and you can get on for free. I would never imagine that that <laughs> many people went through the library a day. Well, do you have a Facebook? Yeah. And you have a Facebook, yes, right? Yes, I do. Well, yeah, everybody has a Facebook now and so they want to check it. <laughs> or they want to create a resume or apply for a job. Uh, we've helped tons and tons of people do that. So do you see traffic um, busy all day long at the library or are there certain times of day that are busier than others? There's certain times. Mondays are usually busy. Fridays are a little slower. Um, during lunchtime, a lot of people come on their lunch times to check out a book and they have to get out really fast because they have to get back to work. So they usually come in on lunch times, evenings with their kids. So after four o'clock, generally every day, it'll be busier. So do you think like with the smartphones that people have now, I mean, you could actually even read a book on the smartphone, you still have that much traffic going through the library. Oh yeah, because not everybody, you would think, oh yeah, everybody has a smartphone. Or everybody smart has phone. internet. Yeah, I have a smartphone, but I don't have a data plan. Uh -huh. So I don't have that, but I can go to the library and do it, and a lot of other people can't afford to do it. They don't have a smartphone, they don't have internet at home, so they come by and use ours. So is wireless internet available at the library? Oh yeah, we have we actually have two routers, so if you're in the front of the building, you get great internet. If you're in the back of the building, you get great That's internet. That's great. Yeah. That's great. I know out on Brighton Road, we don't have great internet. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, we can't get TIFFnet out there, but <laughs> hopefully one day soon we will. <laughs> Maybe I need to come to the library since hey, I'm not getting good internet you service. You are more than welcome. <laughs> Well, it looked like it was the place to be. Actually, I saw um, teenagers coming out mm -hmm. there that night. Um, they were crossing the road. I had to stop for them to cross the road. And I was like, wow, teenagers are actually going to the library. Oh, yeah. We have, uh, we have a lot of different programs and a lot of different clubs that we're doing. So we'll have anywhere from 15 to 50 teenagers coming in during the programs. It just depends. And then there's always the ones that don't want to come to the program, but they're on the Internet. So, because yeah. we have computers in the teen room for them. Oh, that's great. Yeah. Well, before we talk about the children and the teen programs that you have out there, um, tell us a little bit about what's coming up out there at the library. We have two um, events, main events coming up in April, and usually we have a children's party, but since we had two parties last month, Dr. Seuss's birthday and the Lego day, we decided not to have a children's program and give us a rest. But the teenagers are having a Halo 4 team death match which, of course, the teenagers are all gaga for. <laughs> what is Halo for? Oh, Ginger. Really? I, <laughs> I, have, I'm a, I have a six-year-old little girl and a 20-year-old um, boy. So. I'll bet he knows what Halo oh, is. Oh, yes. <laughs> Halo 4 is an awesome game. I am not a gamer. My boyfriend, however, is a gamer. He is in love with Halo 4, so he got me into it. And it's a first-person shooter game where... You are this awesome Spartan in this armor and everything, and you battle aliens that are trying to take over your planet. There you go. Yeah. And I'm <laughs> sure that that is an intense battle. Oh, yeah. And, <laughs> I mean, I'll get into it and move and, like, scream at the TV and everything. It's a really, really fun game. And the team deathmatch is you and a partner are against another little team. You're not fighting aliens this time. You're fighting other Spartans. And it's first... Um, it's first elimination, single elimination tournament, so if you guys die once, then you're eliminated. And then the other team goes on and tries to become the winner. Wow, and yeah. it's for I'm ages. Sure I'll die quick. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's for ages 12 to 20. Uh -huh. We had to raise it a little bit because there's a lot of young adults oh. that want to do it. So, 
Um, it's ages 12 to 20. Anyone under 16 has to have a parental permission slip signed, and you can get those at the children's desk at the library. And so, this happens and from what time? It's a April 25th from 4 to 7. And sign up is immediately before that, and we ask that they bring their partner with them so they can sign up at the same time. So you need a partner? Yeah. You can't come and not have a partner and be paired up with a partner. <laughs> well, I guess you can, and there will definitely be singles there, but a lot of people play with their friends. It's an online gaming system, too. You can get on Xbox Live and play with the entire world, pretty much, and they just shoot you into a game, and it's like, okay, you, you joined a game, and then it's like, ding, this guy from Paraguay joined, ding, this guy <laughs> from here joined, and then you set up your teams and just go at each other. So I guess these kids need to start practicing with their friends who they're going to bring to oh, be their yeah. partner. And go ahead and start practicing. Oh yeah, it's competitive. It's really competitive. My boyfriend and one of our teenagers is actually at battle right now because they think they're the best <laughs> at Halo 4. So. Now you guys are going to have snacks that day. Is there an award for the winner? There is going to be a prize for the winner, but I can't tell you guys. Ooh. And there are going to be snacks, gamer snacks, Mountain Dew and Doritos. Oh my goodness, you need Mountain Dew. <laughs> wow. <laughs> All that sugar. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Three hours of gaming, you need a lot of sugar. <laughs> So that's on April the 25th. What else do you got coming up? We also have the Renaissance Fair, and we're in collaboration with the Tifton Museum, which is right next door to the library. And it's the manifold greatness, the creation and afterlife of the King James Bible. And so we're throwing a Renaissance Fair in Library Lane, which is where the uh, carnival was last year and is going to be this year. And that's on April 20th from 11 a.m. to 4 p.m. It's family friendly, but it's geared more towards Renaissance era activists, I guess you would say. There's going to be um, trinket vendors, there's going to be a blacksmith, um, demonstrations of sword fighting, and a yarn maker and lace making. There's going to be a tent set up for children, and we're going to be making breastplates, shields, and swords. And then there's also going to be a little bit into the printing press, because that came into being around that time. So there's going to be that. Oh, and food vendors. There's going to be huge, huge turkey legs for sale oh, and everything. Oh my goodness, that might be. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, and all of, the, um, all of the proceeds from that go to benefiting the Tifton, or Tiff County Rotary Club and the library volunteers, the literacy volunteers. So is it free admission and then you just pay for yeah. what you purchase? Yeah, it's free admission. Anybody can come, but if you want little trinkets from over here or some food, then you have to pay for that yourself. So you definitely want to remember to bring some cash. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and the, the museum at the same time, 11 to 4, is also having an exhibit with, um, like I said, King James Bible artifacts and um, stuff from that era so that they can have their whole exhibit and then you could come over and see our Renaissance Fair. So it's supposed to be a big event. We're looking forward to it. Well, we're going to take a quick break, and we'll be back in just a moment with more on Tea Time. The fourth annual Tour de Tifton Century Ride is slated for Saturday, April 6th, Tift Area YMCA. Registration opens at 7 a.m. A mass start will begin at 8. Call 387-9622 for more info on the Ilse Boyette Memorial, the fourth annual Tour de Tifton Century Ride 2013. It's a great way to spend an afternoon. Come check out Stevie B's at 131 South Virginia Avenue next to Tractor Supply Sunday through Thursday, 11 a.m. to 9 p.m. Friday and Saturday, 11 a.m. to 10 p.m. Check out their all-new lunch buffet, which includes your drink, Monday through Wednesday, 11 a.m. until 3 p.m. No time to sit down for lunch? Go try their new carryout buffet for only $7.49. They've also got pasta, breadsticks, a salad bar, 10 pizzas, four desserts, sweet and unsweet tea, and all the Pepsi products. They can always create your own pizza. The $5.99 lunch buffet starts Monday and runs Monday through Wednesday, 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. Like us on Facebook for special deals. Stevie B's, 131 South Virginia Avenue in Tifton.
Are you in the mood for some amazing food? Well, stop by the Smokehouse, home of the best ribs in the South on 82 and Tifton, and try their new barbecue buffet. The barbecue buffet features their signature smoked chicken, pulled pork, and their famous barbecue beans, all cooked over high-quality blackjack oak. The barbecue buffet is offered daily from 1130 to 2 and from 530 to 8. On Friday and Saturday nights, try the buffet featuring Lake Okeechobee fresh catfish. The Smokehouse is home of certified Angus beef, and they're now in their 26th year. Let them cater your next party. Give them a call at 386-0606. No matter how great they are, pictures will never give you the full A-back experience. You've got to see campus. Join us for a stallion day or personalize your visit with a weekday tour. Go to aback.edu slash stallion days to sign up now. We hope to see you soon in Tifton at Abraham Baldwin Agricultural College.
Ranchero's Fresh Grill is now open in Tifton at 133 South Virginia Avenue across from Tractor Supply. Ranchero's has the finest and freshest tacos, burritos, salads, quesadillas, nachos, and chips and salsa anywhere. Want dessert? Ranchero's has that as well with the s'mores quesadilla for only $2.99. Don't forget about the kids. Ranchero's has kids meals starting at only $3.99. Find them on Facebook for coupons and specials. Call them at 396-5555-133 South Virginia Avenue in Tifton. For over 42 years, Moon's Pharmacy has been committed to providing professional, friendly service, where our pharmacists welcome your questions, offer you overall lower drug costs, and free citywide delivery. While we still believe in good old-fashioned customer service, we also know the importance of staying on the leading edge of pharmacy innovations, such as travel and flu vaccines, custom compounding, and specialty packaging for homebound patients. Choose Moon's Pharmacy. Together, we can make a difference in your health. Communication, data transmission, and methods of securing facilities and homes are ever-evolving. Let Coopercraft's team of experienced professionals partner with you to manage your technology needs. Coopercraft manages hundreds of accounts in the Southeast, including numerous hospitals and healthcare facilities, industrial plants, law enforcement centers, and educational facilities. These customers depend on Coopercraft. Why shouldn't you? Let a proven leader in the industry earn your business. Call us today. The 4th Annual Tour de Tifton Century Ride is slated for Saturday, April 6th, Tifton Area YMCA. Registration opens at 7 a.m. A mass start will begin at 8. Call 387-9622 for more info on the Ilse Boyette Memorial, the 4th Annual Tour de Tifton Century Ride 2013. Isn't this a great way to spend an afternoon? Welcome back to Tea Time. We are talking to Danielle O'Day and she is with the Tifton Tiff County Public Library. We were just on break talking about, they're talking about all these games that I have no clue about. <laughs> and I'm telling them all about Atari games that I grew up on. Frogger. Frogger. <laughs> Space Invaders hey and man. Pong. Donkey Kong. And I'm like, I have no clue what y'all were talking about. <laughs> Those were the good old days. Hey, there's That's good right. old days now. Thank you very much. Um, <laughs> Halo 4 is actually not bloody like the good old days. Well, Those good. games weren't bloody. And it's a modern version of Space Invaders. <laughs> yeah, but Space Invaders, I mean, they stayed on the same screen, you know. They just went back and forth on the same screen. You don't have to, like, do all this turn. We had a joystick, you know. That's all we had. You didn't go in rooms and behind trees <laughs> and had up two ladders. Buttons. <laughs> crazy. Well, I play and all I know is shoot, pick up gun, shoot, <laughs> pick up gun. I have to have instructions like turn around. Oh, crud, I'm going the wrong way. <laughs> but it does sound like a lot of fun. Now tell us again, when is the Halo 4 death match? The Halo 4 team death match is on April 25th from 4 to 7. And sign up is immediately before. You need to sign up with your partner. But if you don't have a partner, come and see if somebody else will partner with, with you. And you so, need to get that permission form in if you're under yeah. 16. Yeah, it's from ages 12 to 20, but if you're under 16 because of the violence level, I mean, you're killing things. Um, you but have it's not to have bloody the, and no, gory. Not it's, at all. Not at all. They're just dead. Yeah, it's just like <laughs> dead. Okay, keep on going. And you respawn. So. <laughs> and if they come and they're under 16 and they don't have that form, they will not be able to play. Is no. that right? They have to have, they better call their parents up because <laughs> it's liability purposes we have to have the form so if you don't have the form call your parent ask them to come and sign the form for you but there will be snacks the admission is free everything including the xboxes the controllers the game everything is included and it's all um, already provided for you and snacks and there's a secret award for the yes, winner there's a secret prize for the winning pair so. And the Renaissance Fair is coming up on what date? It is. It's on April 20th from 11 a.m. to 4 p.m. Okay. And that's, I mean, everything that you think of when you have a Renaissance Fair. There's going to be a blacksmith there. There's going to be um, lace making and yarn making demonstrations, sword fighters. We're trying to get a juggler right now, so if you know any jugglers, <laughs> let us know. Um, there's going to be a children's so tent. I'm, I'm sorry, I don't mean to interrupt, but who's going to be making like yarn and lace? 
We have a list of the vendors, but until they're absolutely set in stone, yeah. we're not going to release the names because... That would be interesting to see. It oh, would. yeah. Oh, yeah. There's all kinds of stuff that's going to be there. And there's going to be a children's tent where they can make breastplates and the swords and the shields and the printing press stuff. There's also going to be... Um, my coworkers are going to be walking around also promoting the summer reading program. So you'll get a little insight into what's coming up for the summer also. Now, is this going to be an outside event? It is. It's going to be in Library Lane, which is the parking lot in between us and the little hair salon next door. So it's going to be that whole lane, and there's going to be tents set up and everything like that. Sounds like a lot of fun. Yeah. We're hoping it's free admission, and then the museum has their thing, like I was telling you guys earlier. They have their um, exhibit that's going to be set up from 11 to 4, free admission. Anybody can come in and look at all of the artifacts and everything they have set up. Now, Danielle, you're, you're very knowledgeable about the Tifton Tift County Public <laughs> Library. I'm going to ask you a question that you weren't expecting. What is your favorite thing that the Tifton Tift County Public Library offers? Year-round or specific events? Just maybe an event. Definitely the summer reading part or program kickoff carnival. Uh -huh. It was it was my little brain baby, but everybody made it possible. We had a great time. It's going to be on June first this year from twelve to two, I believe the times are, and I'll give more information about that next month. But last month or last year we had a dunking booth, a jumpy house, um, temporary tattoos, face painting everything we had a blast we had 400 people come wow. well, and that you, was without publicity you so. will definitely have to come back and tell us about that <laughs> i will before definitely it be glad to do that <laughs> it's obvious to, obvious to tell that you love what you do and thank you for coming on here and sharing a little bit of it with us well thank you for having me again thank you thank you for watching tea time we'll see you next time right here on plant tiff nets wiregrass channel three Come check out Stevie B's at 131 South Virginia Avenue next to Tractor Supply Sunday through Thursday, 11 a.m. to 9 p.m., Friday and Saturday, 11 a.m. to 10 p.m. Check out their all-new lunch buffet, which includes your drink, Monday through Wednesday, 11 a.m. until 3 p.m. No time to sit down for lunch? Go try their new carryout buffet for only $7.49. They've also got pasta, breadsticks, a salad bar, 10 pizzas, four desserts, sweet and unsweet tea, and all the Pepsi products. They can always create your own pizza. The $5.99 lunch buffet starts Monday and runs Monday through Wednesday, 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. Like us on Facebook for special deals. Stevie B's, 131 South Virginia Avenue in Tifton. Are you in the mood for some amazing food? Well, stop by the Smokehouse, home of the best ribs in the South on 82 in Tifton, and try their new barbecue buffet. The barbecue buffet features their signature smoked chicken, pulled pork, and their famous barbecue beans, all cooked over high-quality blackjack oak. The barbecue buffet is offered daily from 1130 to 2 and from 530 to 8. On Friday and Saturday nights, try the buffet featuring Lake Okeechobee fresh catfish. The Smokehouse is home of certified Angus beef, and they're now in their 26th year. Let them cater your next party. Give them a call at 386-0606. Communication, data transmission, and methods of securing facilities and homes are ever-evolving. Let Coopercraft's team of experienced professionals partner with you to manage your technology needs. Coopercraft manages hundreds of accounts in the Southeast, including numerous hospitals and healthcare facilities, industrial plants, law enforcement centers, and educational facilities. These customers depend on Coopercraft. Why shouldn't you? Let a proven leader in the industry earn your business. Call us today. No matter how great they are, pictures will never give you the full back experience. You've got to see campus. Join us for a stallion day or personalize your visit with a weekday tour. Go to abac.edu slash stallion days to sign up now. We hope to see you soon in Tifton at Abraham Baldwin Agricultural College.